Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Um... Oh no! Run! <laughs> we almost ran straight forward into them. Okay, maybe there's uh, another hive village down here that we can get to. Well, actually... Maybe there are... Maybe there's one that we can just steal. I doubt it, though. I don't see anything. He probably hasn't reset his stock yet. Hmm? Yeah, no. His stock would not have been reset yet, anyway. So this one's shoddy. It's four. That one is prototype. That's just completely useless. Okay, well, there may be another village over here. So if we can go over there today, we might be able to find that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we need to uh, not get one-shotted by the big things. And, um... Ooh, we want to go that way. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, so we can't see the big things now. We want to make our way into there, eventually. Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, no. Ah. It body blocked us. Hi. Come. You have come to trade with us? Yes. I have come to not get eaten by big things. These things are very assholes. Hey, big things. Come on. No, what are you doing? Yes, push me along. Sounds good to me. Where are the rest of the hives? Uh, where are they? Probably you just haven't gotten up yet. Makes sense, I guess. Let's go in. Alright, big things. Are you gonna attack them? Eat some of them? What is this? A factory? Oh, gotcha. Oh, big things! Hello! I've got some uh, fresh friends for you, big things. <laughs> Go! Do what you do best! Go! Fight them! Hurt them! Kill them! Beat them! Oh, good, there's more of them. That means more money for us. Oh yeah. Hey. All right. Let's uh take everything. Oh goody. Let's take everything off of this one. Fantastic. Take everything off of this one. Wunderbar. <laughs> Is it my turn? It's my turn. We, we did it. We smacked it. And then they died. Sweet. Let's go grab this one before they loot it. Alright, wonderful. Let's swap these out. And just fill up with whatever I can. Excellent. Wonderful. Wunderbar. 
That is the factory. This is the... Oh, there we go. Let's go in there. Slowly walk our way over and... Uh, where are you? There you are. Hello. You are in good hands. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't eat any of these, so I'm just going to sell them to them. Oh. They have no value. Well, then. At least we can eat that. Well, Beep can eat all of these, so we'll just hand them off to Beep. We want to sell those, though. Alright, nice. We made some cash. Alright. Let's get the rest of this in that backpack. Swap these out. Empty all this out. And then put them all in. Alright. It's just, you know, some basic inventory management. Let's take that out. And uh, let's go. <laughs> we currently run at 10 miles an hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. We're over at that general shop, and uh, he doesn't have anything for us. So... Is there another high village over here? I'm hoping there is, but I don't know if there is. Oh, no. Bring it on. Okay, good. We're able to just barely dodge that. Oh, good. They're attacking them. Should that thing who's bay? We must trade now, human. Yes, we must trade with me. Come on. Go kill that big thing for us. Yeah, big things are nasty. I mean, they hit for, they hit like a truck. Let's see. They do three blunt damage, but 27, no. 16 cutting damage. Now, here's, here's a fun thing that many people don't know about the game. So you don't actually see how much damage you're going to do until you mouse over it. So this does some cutting damage, so we do a little bit with this. This seems to be focused on him, so long as it's not attacking- ah! It got us. Let's heal ourselves. Okay, good. Let's go, uh, let's steal all the meat off of it. There. <laughs> All right, Mr. Breeze, trade with me, you man. Hey, man, you got it. I mean, hey, Hyrule, you got it. Yes, trade with us. All right, soon. If that works. <laughs> Let's get all of this into that bag. Okay, very nice. Um, there are big things here. We don't want to be where there are big things. If we can avoid it, big things are big and scary, and they'll eat you. We will come back here, and we'll keep trying to get one of those standard. Um. Keep trying to get one of those standard Hiver chest plates. Basically, they're just the same as like a chainmail, but they are instead. Uh, what is it? They they only cover the chest and the stomach. They don't cover the arms at all.
You know, I wonder if, like... I wonder if they wanted the... Oh, you know what? You know what? There's something about copper that many people don't know. It oxidizes... I think it oxidizes green, right? Or is that bronze? So you could have, like, these bright... Oh, no. Who are they? Hungry bandits. What do you want, man? Come on, man. Give me alone, man. Wait. Does that slow me down? A little bit. No. Put that on. Let's toss that on the ground and let's run. Where's the rebel base? It's over there. Sounds fantastic. Alright, the hungry bandits. They are coming for us. Sounds fantastic. Stop! Intruder! Sorting yourself! Oh, their leader. He has shoes that I want. Okay, well, while they slaughter them, go find where we put our backpack. Is it over here? Probably should have notated that. Oh, come on, eh? Let's run here some way. We were coming from here to the hive, so it might be over here. Okay, maybe we can find it like this. Oh uh, man. Oh, there it is. Good. Good. Let's take it. Yay. And let's make our way over there. So we're just going to want to pick up the starving bandit, le the hungry bandit leader, and uh, see what we can get off of him. That's just a hungry bandits. Hello, guys. Where is he? I know that they had one. Yeah, oh, there he is. Cool, let's take his shoes. We can take his saber because we can sell it for a nice amount. And let's go over to the barman, actually, first. Hey, man. So those won't sell for anything. That's fine. We've got plenty of food in that. Well, plenty of food we can't really eat, but who's who's keeping track, right? And what are you guys? A slave is the dust bandits. Well, Dusty and the bandits. Okay. Let's try to aggro them, but not die. <laughs> Potentially harder, harder said than done. <laughs> okay, and it's above a certain point, so that will never go down. That will never go away at this point with the Holy Nation. They will always want us. Which is fine with me. Screw those guys. Okay. Nice. Not really, but nice. Alright. Let's... Let's, um... Hmm. I'm looking for a fog mask. As well as some other things. So our encumbrance is up there. So we have all this food... What are these guys more starving, more dust bandits, eh? Well, Monsieur Dust Bandit. How's it going, my dudes?
Looks like they seem to be playing by the rules right now. Rook attack them unprovoked. And then immediately run back to the guards. That might work, or might get us killed. One of the two. This guy comes after us. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We can do it. Alright, good. They're, they're going after the dust bandits. That's what I need. Let's heal ourselves. Go away from him. Heal ourselves a little bit more. Ah. Take this. Smack him. Yeah. No scraping. Surrender. Okay, he doesn't have a sword, and uh, did any of his friends show up? No. Of course they didn't. Alright, well, that works. Could have practiced our uh, bapping on them. But it is what it is. It's kind of late, actually, so we can probably make our way up to stay. Of course, this backpack is going to cause a bit of a problem for us. Now we are even slower. Okay, so... So you can use research benches as impromptu storage. Which is what we're gonna do now. <laughs> we're gonna buy this. And then we're going to repair it. We need four building supplies. Hopefully, we can get that quickly from you. Alright, let's swap these. So we move just a little bit faster. We're going to want to get four building supplies, because this one needs three. Yeah, three more. And then the tech, the uh, tech bench, is going to require one. Wait. How much? Three building materials. So we need six, not, not, not four. Hello. Oh, we can't do it, actually. We can only get five. Well... We can get it mostly done, I guess. Okay, well, they are fighting somebody over there. That's good. Uh, it looks like we might have to take uh, some of this stuff in there. Unfortunately. Alright, let's add the rest. Get this built. And who's fighting what? The ninja guard is fighting... Caravanners? Slave bombers. Alright, screw those guys. I have no problem with them killing slave mongers. That sounds like a good time. Alright. Well, since these are going to be our storage bays, uh, I guess we can do one, and then two, and then three, I suppose. 
We will add all our materials to that one. Now we're going to need one more. Hopefully we can find that last one in... Here? Maybe. Because if we can put this trade backpack in there or lots of stuff, then that helps us immensely. Let's steal that. Let's close this door. Let's pick this lock. How many dice? Well, two. Three. Nice. Well, we won the third one. That's all that matters. All right, let's take the chew. Let's take the chew stick. There's Grog. Nice. Now, can we find building materials anywhere? I really like some. Some samurai boots out here. That's nice. Steal those, and that seems to work. Dust band. Nice. Those guys deserve to have everything stolen from them. Screw those guys. And is he a bow user? No. There's an arrow in him, though. Oh, yes. We can steal from these douchebags. Hmm. So last time we learned the importance of costumes. Probably take that and sell it. Okay, sounds good. The nation outlaws, the sky's caravan guard of the Traders Guild. Okay. Well, I kind of really, really desperately need a building supply. Hello. Damn it. All we need is a building supply. And then we can put all this stuff down. I'm hoping that we can stash something in here and it not get stolen. Because if we can, then that can work for us. If we can't, then it won't work for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to open this up. We're going to put all of this stuff in there. Okay, we're, we will take one food. And then we will quickly sprint our way over to stack steal a bunch from them, and then leave. We won't have much time to get in and out, though. Spent all our time building that shack that we couldn't finish any of the storage of. So, this might be a little toy. We might only have an hour to go in, steal some stuff, maybe from the clothier. And then get out. Yeah, it looks like we might have an hour to steal from the clothier. Take that off so that we can sneak at full speed. And what is this? General shop, bar... Where's the clothier? He's over there.
Okay, no one seems to be paying much attention to us. That's good. Let's sneak in here. Go work at picking this chest. Maybe we'll get lucky. At around four, people start waking up. Awesome. So we can get a shoddy chainmail, some chain shirts, sneaky chain cargo pants, which are decent. Okay, we can get that. Can we get lucky on that one, though? Hey, we did. Nice. Okay, high grade rusty chainmail, chainmail chainmail, chainmail, leather shirt. All right, well, these we will try to steal. Oh, no! He caught us! He just runs after us, swinging his fists around, screaming, Thrrr! As loud as he can. We'll steal his one cat. Chain shirts, we'll steal that too. Those are empty, right? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, it's pretty trap grade. Pretty trap. <laughs> right. Let's steal that. I think he might be coming down the stairs. We can steal that one. Building material. Uh, those are high grade. They sell for an okay amount. And what about this? And a turtle. Turtle here. Hello, officer. Don't mind me. Oh, man. Try and shame those, those, those dirty wolves. Horrible creatures. Horrible creatures. Truly, the worst. The most vile of all, of all things. Alright, we'll take that. All right, nice. Let's keep going. Make our way over to the, the hub. So a bunch of this stuff. First thing we'll do, though, is we will get our... one of those research benches finished so we can actually store our stuff. And then we'll hope that stuff hasn't been taken out of those chests. I don't think... The NPCs actually loot anything from chests, so I think it's all fine, but it's me. Okay, let's go finish the hands. This is one that's almost finished, right? Yeah, finish that one. Do it. Okay, excellent. Let's go to inventory. Let's just dump all of this stolen stuff in there. Oh, we'll keep our food. Dump all of this in. Cool. Let's go get our stuff out of out of here. Because I'm paranoid. Okay, good. It's all still there. Cool. Let's get back. Bruh. So, have this costume in there. That for sure, and uh, everything we're going to be selling. <laughs> C 
so much. That's uniform for the slave traders. Is that also for the traders? Yeah. Take all of this and this grog. Okay, that's their uniform. And we'll take that as well so we can sell it. Okay, ball friend. I want to sell you stuff. Looks like this. Sell you those. He can't afford any of that, and we don't want to sell him anything that he can't afford. Now let's go see if they have anything good over here. We don't want to sell these guys anything, because we would get a bad deal for it, but if they have some equipment that we could use, then that would be worth it. Okay, we can take the fog mask. That's good for us. Okay, that seems like everything that's alright. Uh, we do want to get everyone dust coats just so we can unify uh, what equipment we can have that we'll have at each level. So, let's try making our way over to this high village at this point. Plus, let's go over here and... Open the inventory of this, see if there's anything else we want to take that we can sell. It doesn't seem like it, so let's go to that Hiver village. Maybe we can get some armor for Beep when we get him. Also, our strength is going up. Not quite as fast as it would if we were just rushing strength, carrying a corpse around, running around like complete idiots. But uh, it is doing the good job right now. Alright, oh, that could be a problem. Hmm. Let's put that in there. Oh, we are running them. We're running at 17. They are running at 16. So, yeah, we outrun them. Very nice. We run into a small army of beak things that are devouring everyone right now over there. And where is, uh, where is the traitor? There you are. Come on! He doesn't have anything I want, but he does have a lot of money. So... Leather shirt, drifter's boots, rusty... Alright, let's sell him all of this stuff. He doesn't have a chain shirt that I want at the moment, so we will uh, move along. Let's go over to this high village, it's the next closest. We can run freely now. Let's see, yeah, 1% lost. That's from here, I think. Athletics, yeah, is a little bit lower, but this balances it out. See so yeah, we uh, we still run really fast. We just have a little bit of a penalty to our speed. Hello. Hello. Is it me you are looking for? Why? Shoddy prototype. He just has hot garbage, doesn't he? Alright, let's go down there then. We did get the uh, chain mail that we were after for ourselves. And so we're going to get beep. Then after that, we're going to look into getting our hands on some bone dogs. 
probably one or two for me. Then we will train them up, have our proving grounds out in the Fog Islands. Uh, okay, thanks. Thanks for that. And um, let's see. Oh my. Prototype, prototype. Wow, you guys suck. Can you get me some uh, not prototype stuff, but I just have to craft it myself. Okay. Well, let's go to the next one over then, I guess. Let's go over here. All right. So, just running over there to try and get some better hybrid gear. To that. Oh no, it's a gorilla. Oh well. He couldn't catch up with us, so. Sucks to be him. <laughs> the one thing you can do with towns you're going to attack is you can dump a bunch of unconscious animals into a town, and then the town defenders will attack those animals. The more dangerous the animals are, the better. Alright. So, the general store. Let's go. Shigloos, let's let's go into the Shigloo. Okay, where are you? There you are. Okay, we don't have anything that's particularly great. We have those. I would like something that's standard like this, I guess. We might not be able to get any good stuff. Let's see. We can go to this one, and then there might be another one south of there. That way, maybe. We will see. We oui. shall see. Okay, I just thought those might have been big things. They just turned out to be plants. That are vaguely beak, beak thing shaped. We, we almost, we almost um, added to the building material for the shiglus. When we saw those blue, oh man, damn it! Okay, let's see if there's something down here that maybe we can use. I'd imagine that there would be more stuff over there. But maybe there is, maybe there isn't. It's just a tree. Oh, there is a Hyver village down here. Nice. Let's go over there and see what we can do. Maybe they will have that last piece of equipment that we want before going to the Fog Islands. Yoba! Welcome. It's looking like we might not be able to get... I mean, it's, it's just random, right? So... There might be something else down here. I don't know if there is. We might be able to run back if we run into anything that's nasty. But, um... It would probably show up on our map by now if we were getting really close to something. Yeah, just ruins. All right. So we're going to get some uh, rusted stuff, I guess. All right, Portis. Portis is probably going to get eaten by some uh, by some big things. Let's go back over here. 
Because I think that's where the uh, other... I think that's where the Hydra was that had the stuff that we could take. That we wanted. The best uh, chain shirt that we can get at the moment. We will eventually want to buy blueprints for that and have somebody else just make them. Like when we make an armor or something to be become infinitely rich. No, no. Yes, push me along. And I agree with this plan. Haha, uh -huh. you missed. Oh no. Alright, let's make our way over there. And let's go. Let's go to the Shigloos. Hello, bees. Okay, let's uh, let's get down to the Shigloos. Hopefully, he'll start pushing us. Doesn't look like he's going to. But let's keep going. We got him to attack that one drifter, but uh, didn't seem to do much. Seems to be going after that drifter. Or after us, he just can't figure it out. And where are you? There you are. Hello. Yuma. Yes, us. We'll take one of those. And I think we have everything that we need otherwise. So... We could... Pick up our first bone dog. And... Uh, then make our way over to the Fog Islands. So we'll try that. Let's go. We will, uh, yeah, we'll just um, get there and then we'll see if we can grab a dog. We'll do that in a time lapse. Hoi, Tauri! Alright, so, our, uh, our friend here. So we have a male bone dog. Can we get more than one? Yes. And uh, then we can get a pack bull, I suppose. We'll take you. We'll call him Hootie. Wait, no. Alright, and now this one, I don't know. What should we call him? Uh, let's call him Dog Meat. That's a good uh, reference, I suppose. Have we got Foodie and Dog Meat? Okay, so everyone's going to be running the same speed. We're going to be giving you start with the backpack now. All right. Well, there are those dog backpacks, so maybe we can do something there. Probably take this and give it to him. No. So let's go over here, guys. And I'm going to have Ben drop this in there. Cool. Now let's go see what's in here. What I can get from here. So he doesn't have the one of those backpacks. I'm going to have them both hang out there while I sprint over to Squin, see if they have a bone dog backpack for us.
is just a little bit more convenient. I think the bone dog can eat out of the uh, pack beasts uh, stuff as well. So that would be fine. So he runs at 15 miles an hour. I don't know if the he runs at 8. He is a mere child. I don't know if the if the fogmen will attack our dogs or not. Well, uh, I don't know if they'll eat our uh, pack beast or not. I'm hoping they won't. It will be nice to be able to give the bone dog a lot of meat, though. So then it can just feed itself. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Be nice. Anytime now, game. Okay, cool. Um, the game seems to be having problems. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we'll do. We will save, and then we will load this save. Because it seems to be having some issues loading people in as it's supposed to. Okay, so it's loaded the area. It's probably loading all the characters now, so hopefully that will work. And anytime now. Alright, well, it loaded us in. Loaded them in. Sounds good. And you. Boy, welcome. Okay, a dog backpack. We can take that. We already have one of those, so we don't need to worry about that. It's Garus. Okay, sounds good. We are on our way home, then. We don't even need to look at Fen. We can just watch him on the map. That'll actually let him run faster with a better collision map. Then get here sooner, and give the bone dog some food sooner. Now, luckily, the bone dog will eat. Uh, the bone dog will eat rotten meat or whatever it was, whatever it was all like disgusting meat. Okay, the bone dog has that. That's nice. Let's go in here. Take that. And now let's just dump all of this crap in there. And let's have you just start taking all that you can hold. Okay, cool. Can't hold any more. You're going to take the rest. And we want to leave as little back here as possible. Because it'd be nice to be able to slip in to... Uh, United Cities territory. Well, they might be at war with the with the uh, with this. So that might actually be bad for us to wear that. Yeah, that would probably be a mistake. So, so your job will be to follow Fen. <clears throat> your job will be bodyguard us. So when I go sneaky, they all go sneaky. Alright, sounds good. Welcome. Welcome. Let's sell all of that. Sounds good. Now what's in here? Just that. Nothing particularly crazy. Give that to him. And we'll give that to him as well. I mean, we might as well put all the food on Foodie. Let Foodie uh, do what they do best and haul things. That way I don't have to. Oh, well, let's talk to you again. Just sell you... 
Let's see, that is refitted blade, rusting blade. Here you go. So, standard toothpick. We are going to want that. Which is sell for 49, that sells for more. So, we'll get rid of that one. So, we have that toothpick. Yeah, that's what? 120 shots. So, we should be more than fine. All right. We have tons of food. I think we're good. And we want to run all at the same speed. And so how fast are we going? We're going 8 miles an hour because of the bone dog. So it's going to take a while for dog meat to catch up in terms of how fast he can run. Uh, so, it will definitely be a while. <laughs> it will definitely be a while. Now, I'm just curious. Could we take this off of him and put it on fed? Yes. I would also slow down by a massive amount. The Garu's fine. We want to give that back to the Garu. Okay. So... Uh, we want fed on ranged. These guys are fine. Garus, as I've been told, are actually incredibly tanky. And good at fighting. But we don't want to put them on taunt just yet. Hmm. But if I can pick up dog meat, then we can at least run at 15 miles an hour. Ingrid is 209, 200. Ours isn't so bad. Right, but if we pick up dog meat, we run at 15 miles an hour. What I can do is carry dog meat. Hey! Oh, face! I best they move 15, 14, 15. Right? Three! But I jumps. I'm just chasing after us. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get. Oh, what are they fighting? What's going on over here? The escape services. Escape services. Escape servants fighting people. Oh man, they're fighting them dust bandits. Some of them are going back there to fight them. There's not enough of them. For my uh, not enough of them for me to be happy. Our attack and defense is sort of up there. Theirs is not. So we can. We want to fight only when it would be to our benefit. Like we chase them down and help the servants fight them. And those escaped servants are wrecking them. Right, let's put Dogby down. And let us engage. Kill. Alright, our skill with crossbows are going to start is going to start skyrocketing. Of course, this one time we shoot one of somebody by accident. This will just bump up by a few points. Oh no, dog meat! <laughs> Who's a good puppy? Alright, let's keep shooting them. Oh no, you! Let's uh, take care of Foodie. Alright, shoot him. Good. Shoot him again. He's not dying, so that's good. Let's take care of Foodie real quick. Foodie and the dog meat. Alright, so foodie is taken care of to an extent. We're waiting for dog meat to wake up. I don't want to leave them because 
If I do, they will most likely get killed by these people. Dog meets in a recovery coma. At least for a little bit. <laughs> ah. 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 Fine. Take this. Shoot him. Alright, Dogmeat's still doing his thing. We're still, uh, murking these people as best we can. Okay, yeah. Shoot the Just Bandits in the head. It isn't going to do much. Nice. Shoot him. Awesome. Gotcha. Nice. Let's hope dog meat gets up soon. Let's go first aid that servant. Take care of foodie a little bit. Dog meat, come on. Anytime you're ready, get back up. Good boy. Alright, let's pick up Booty. Let's make our way over to the Thieves Tower. Dog meat, you did well. Now we can see what their scores actually are down here. So his dexterity skill is 13.18. It has a 0 0.01 modifier, so at around 100 dex, his, he would have, <laughs> at around 100 dex, he would be, um, he'd have a dex, he'd have an effective dexterity score of 1. Oddly enough, that could happen here. Excellent. Let's go upstairs. Over to these. We're going to put Foodie in there. <laughs> We're going to pick up dog meat. We're going to put dog meat in here. And then we're going to lay down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're, they're healing more quickly now. <laughs> I think. And, um, let's see. We are sleeping, and, um, where does it tell us what our heal rate is? Healing, stomach. Ah, uh, man, where is it? KO point? No. It's around here somewhere. Um, no. Encumbrance full speed. Do we just have to click on the bed itself and get more information about that? But anyway, they should be healing at about twice the normal rate at this point. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get healed and then we will be right back. Alright, so, we have mostly healed up. He's still rather rather injured, but as far as I can tell, if, if their legs are injured, that doesn't really do much to... That doesn't do much to, that doesn't do much to them. So, if I remember, you actually have to pick them up out of beds, because they're not actually supposed to use them. 